the Warhammer 40,000 universe is populated by a host of warring factions and sub-factions. Today, we are going to tell you about the main actors of the Coronas Expanse. Some of them can be allies to the rogue trader, while others will become sworn enemies. The Imperium of Man is the largest civilization in the 41st millennium consisting of millions of planets scattered across the galaxy. More than 10,000 years of internal and external strife have led to the Imperium becoming one of the worst tyrannical regimes in the history of mankind. To live in it is to struggle in the shadow of a brutal system steeped in propaganda and zealotry. Symbols of martyrdom abound, inescapable for both daylight-starved workers and Astra Militarum soldiers on a suicidal charge. The promised bright future, long forgotten. Free thought, science and progress, all abandoned. Any dissent is crushed, and any new idea is a potential font of heresy. In this grim, dark future, humanity cannot hope for an ultimate victory. There is only survival, and people will do anything for its sake. The rogue traders are no exception. The Asuriani are but a remnant of the once great Aldari Empire. Their kind used to be so sunken in debauchery and depravity that it led to its fall. The Asuriani managed to escape the dark fate that had consumed their kind by hiding away on giant, planet-sized vessels, craft-world ships. Despite their human-like shape, the Asuriani's appearance betrays their Xenos nature. But what truly sets the Asuriani aside is their incredible psychic might that exceeds the potential of human psychers by orders of magnitude. This turns their technology into something not far from sorcery. Devices of crystallized psychic energy, reality-tearing weapons, and uncanny armor. The relations between the Asuriani and the rogue traders are at best strained. Most often, the interactions between the two parties lead to a conflict. But in the Coronis Expanse, there are exceptions. Not all Aldari have chosen the path of self-isolation and psychic mastery. The Drukhari are the Asuriani's dark brethren, who became a living embodiment of sadism. Their weapons are created not to kill, but to inflict pain, in order to extract the energy of anguish and torment from the very soul of the victim. This is why the Drukhari raiding party's aim is not to conquer and kill, what they want is chattel they can bring to their home, the dark city of Kamora, to torture, experiment on, then throw in the fighting pits for their twisted pleasure. These horrors are the main reasons why rogue traders should pray they do not get captured alive. If there is a fate worse than death, it is to become a plaything for one of the Drukhari's masters of flesh. The cunning plans of the Asuriani may cost the Imperium a war. Drukhari raids can plunge an entire subsector into darkness and horror, but these threats pale in comparison to that of Chaos. The forces of Chaos find their way into the souls of even the most loyal servants of the Emperor and transform them into slaves to darkness, pawns of the gods in the Great Game. Chaos corruption comes in a thousand forms. Diseases capable of depopulating entire planets in mere weeks. Horrifying mutations distorting the carrier beyond recognition. Insanity induced by the endless pursuit of new skulls and the unrestrained indulgence of one's darkest desires. This is why the rogue trader should avoid any and all contact with Chaos if they value their sanity. Otherwise, they risk setting foot on a dark and treacherous path to damnation. 
The Coronis Expanse is vast, barely explored, and full of surprises. And if you happen to be a fortunate holder of a warrant of trade, you are very likely to encounter them all.